fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at G1 Autobot Hot Rod from the Transformers the Movie reissue line from Hasbro. Now I believe this line is exclusive to Walmart stores right now, but is also available on Hasbro Pulse. Um, really just beautiful artwork here on the front. I love this. You can see he's on board one of the shuttles. You have Unicron here coming down and it even kind of extends down to this section, which I think is really cool. Just really awesome artwork, even extends around the side here. I just think these boxes look absolutely beautiful. Here is some product shots of G1 Hot Rod in both robot mode and vehicle mode. Now it says here he is an Autobot Cavalier. What is a Cavalier? All right, uh, moving on, <laughs> we're going to take a look at the back. Again, really nice product shots here. It just says, the universe is threatened by the greatest villain Cybertron has ever known. The heroic Autobots must find a way to destroy this menace if they hope to save their homeland. Till all are one. Got some tech specs down here. Here we go. Function Cavalier. My actions speak louder than words. Hot Rod is a headstrong and self-confident young Autobot. In spite of this, he is destined for greatness and to light of the darkest hour. Not really any more information on the function there, but we got some tech specs over here. Again, just a shot of that artwork from the front. I love the packaging for these. Uh, the other big draw for this guy, uh, I do have the G1 Hot Rod they reissued years and years and years ago when they first got into reissues and they were Toys R Us exclusives. And I think that one came with a Target Master. But the big draw for this guy is that he is beautiful magenta like he appears in the movie, which they haven't really done before. There was talk of them doing Studio Series 86 Hot Rod in those colors, and they didn't, and they did this instead. So here we are. But I'm going to go ahead and get him out of the packaging, and we're going to take a closer look. So here is our G1 Hot Rod out of the packaging. He does come packaged in vehicle mode, and he looks pretty cool. Definitely can tell that he is magenta as opposed to red which really looks sharp. Nice Autobot symbol there. The other nice thing about this release, it is all paint. There are no stickers to put on this guy, so already I'm excited because I hate putting stickers on toys. This looks really, really sharp. I like it quite a bit. He does come with two accessories. He's got his guns here done in this kind of pearl plastic. There's like a bit of a metallic sheen to it, but mostly kind of an off-white gray color and you can pop these into the engine block here so that's pretty cool now i believe the original release of hot rod did not have a port here i think it was just a chrome engine block so this would have been using the Target Master release later on where they had a spot to put the Target Master in the front. But either way, very, very cool. Just for fun, here is Studio Series 86 Hot Rod in vehicle mode so we can compare them. You can see he's a lot flatter and wider. <laughs> but you can definitely tell the magenta versus the red there. So I just wanted to show that off. But they are about the same size lengthwise. Like I said, he is definitely... It looks like someone squashed this one and made this one. <laughs> He's just a little flatter and wider. But still very cool. So let's go ahead. Let's get into transformation. So getting into transformation here, I just wanted to point out a few things. This is obviously where the rub sign used to be. But I'm assuming they just left it off in favor of the fancy paint job, which I'm okay with. And one other thing, here is the directions. <laughs> I love this picture on the front. That is just absolutely fantastic. I'm assuming that's something that was on the original G1 directions. I never had the original G1 uh, hot rod, but that's fantastic. So anyway, putting that off to the side. Transformation is very simple, as you might expect, being a G1 toy. You're going to grab a hold of the leg sections here. You can kind of see the seam here. And the uh, fin piece here, the wing, is not going to move. These are going to slide back and click into place. You'll hear it. There you go. And that will stay where it is. You can go ahead and flip out the feet. And these, I believe, are actually die-cast metal, which is pretty cool. I was not expecting that. 
Let me zoom out here and tilt this up. We can go ahead and flip out the arms. That will allow us to rotate this waist piece 90 degrees. And then we have to flip out the front section here. And this can kind of be a pain in the butt because this yellow bar is here. I'm assuming for stability, but it's also just, it gets in the way of everything. So you kind of have to lift this up. And then as you do that, make sure the head clears the bar. And then he does like a gymnastics routine. He kind of like goes over it, comes around, spins around. This will actually click into place like that. And then this comes back down. And then this little tab here will tab into the waist piece. So you just kind of push that in place. And now it is ready to go. And then this whole piece here on the back will just rotate 180 degrees. And I've accidentally popped this out. So we just spin this 180 degrees like so. And then the last step is to just rotate the arms 90 degrees at these bicep swivels to rotate them forward. And there we go. We have our G1 movie hot rod and he looks great honestly they did a really nice job with this paint scheme i really love it quite a bit i mean all the decal here on the front looks great you can see that they have this section orange to match the rest of the chest the face is painted very nicely they even have a little bit of paint here on the arms the fists this section down here and I was really blown away by the die cast feet because I definitely was not expecting that. It doesn't look as great from the back, but it's a G1 toy. Come on, what do you want? So we'll go ahead and give him his blasters and they just peg very easily into his hands. But yeah, I like this a lot. I think he looks fantastic. In terms of articulation, he doesn't have much. Um, the arms can kind of butterfly in and out. I don't even think they can rotate, but you can bend him at the elbow. And then you do kind of have that bicep swivel that was used for the transformation. That's pretty much it. He doesn't really have anything else in robot mode. Just kind of a bicep swivel, a butterfly joint, kind of, and an elbow bend. And that is it. But he looks great. I love him. And just for fun, here again is Studio Series 86 Hot Rod. Just so you can see how far we've come. This is where it started. This is where it's going. <laughs> but yeah, it, they look great. I mean, honestly, I think they did a really nice job with the repaint on this. And it's a fun reason to rebuy this mold. Because even as, you know, G1 goes, this was a fun toy. I wish I had it when I was a kid. He looks great. And this repaint's just really fantastic. But yeah, overall, it is a little pricey, I will admit. I think this was 35 or something on Pulse, which, you know, I don't remember what this was back in the day, but I would have to imagine it was probably somewhere in the area of $10 or something, just going by inflation back in the 80s and whatnot. Um, but it is a really nice repaint. If you never had one and you've always wanted one, I think this is a really good one to pick up. Definitely has the 86 movie color scheme, and I love the fact that there are no stickers and just all in all, I think he is a ton of fun. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.